Uh, so for this problem, we need to factor this polynomial function and find the real zeros. Uh, so to do this, what we need to do is use the uh, uh, rational zeros theorem. So we know that this is going to have at most three real zeros because the degree of our polynomial is three. And we know that the number of real zeros has to be equal to or less than uh, the degree of our polynomial. So let's use the rational zeros theorem. So remember our leading coefficient here is one and then this here is a negative six. So we call this uh, P and this is Q. So looking at all of the factors of P, uh, factors of six are one, so plus or minus one, uh, two, three, four doesn't go into six evenly, five doesn't go into six evenly, and then just six. So those are all of our factors of six. And then all of our factors of one are just plus or minus one. Uh, and then to do the rational zeros theorem, remember we have to look at the quotient of P divided by Q. So we uh, take all of our uh, factors of P and divide them by Q. But anytime you divide anything by one, you're just gonna get itself. So really it's just plus or minus one plus or minus two, plus or minus three, and plus or minus six. So these are the potential rational zeros. So if this uh, cubic has any rational zeros, it will eat, be one of these eight values. Now, how do we figure out what value works, if any work? Uh, well, now we can just use synthetic division, and then we can just start working through these zeros. So remember for synthetic division, we take the coefficients of each of our term. So we have one, two, negative five, and negative six. And then you just uh, start going through potential factors and use synthetic division. So I'm gonna start with positive one, which means that potentially x minus one would be a factor. So, Let's check this out. So we bring down the one, one times one is one, and then we add two plus one is three, three times one is three, negative five times three, that's two, uh, two times one is two, and then negative six plus two, that's negative four. Now, because we were left with a value here that was not zero, that means that x minus one is not a factor not a factor. In order for it to be a factor, this remainder would have to be equal to zero. Now we don't just give up here. Uh, we just start working through the rest of our, uh, our potential rational zeros. So we know that positive one doesn't work. I'm just gonna keep working through this and try uh, negative one. So we use the same coefficients, the same coefficients because we're still working with the same polynomial. One, two, negative five, negative five, and negative six. And I'm just gonna keep going through and now I'm gonna use negative one. So when x is negative one, uh, which would mean x plus one would potentially be a factor. So do synthetic division for this. So bring the one down, one times negative one is negative one. 2 plus a negative 1 is 1. 1 times negative 1 again is negative 1. Uh, negative 5 plus negative 1 is negative 6. Negative 6 times a negative 1 is positive 6. Hey, look what we got. We got a 0. So our remainder here is 0. So that tells us that x plus 1 is a factor. So this is a factor. Um, and then we're also left with this, which is our depressed polynomial. Uh, and it's going to be a second degree polynomial because remember this was x cubed, x squared, x, and then our constant. So that means that these are going to be one degree less. So x squared, x, and our constant. So our uh, function f of x can be rewritten as this. So we have one x squared, uh, 
plus 1x minus 6. And then all of this is being multiplied by our factor here of x plus 1. Now at this point, we could continue doing synthetic division or since we got pretty lucky uh, and this is factorable, we can just factor this. So we need to look for values that multiply to be negative 6 and add to be 1. Uh, so I think 3 and negative 2 work here. So we have f of x equals x plus 3 times x minus 2 times x plus 1. And then to find the zeros from these, we just take each of these uh, three factors and set them equal to zero. So x plus three equals zero, x minus two equals zero, and then x plus one equals zero. Uh, so we get that x equals negative three, x equals two, and x equals negative one. So these, this, this, and this would be our zeros. And then this here is our factored form.